Recently, we have noticed how Claude Code has depreciated its total value over the past few weeks with issues like rate limits, having shorter context retention, and overall agentic AI issues. But I think I just found a solution that revolutionizes Claude Code once again with the new toolkit and GUI that in a way allows you to create custom agents, manage interactive Claude Code sessions, and run secure background agents and many other things. It's with a toolkit that is called OP Code. OP Code is a powerful new GUI app for Cloud Code, which supercharges it and helps solve all the issues Cloud Code is facing recently. It's a powerful desktop application that transforms how you interact with Cloud Code. It's built with Tari 2 and it provides a beautiful GUI for managing Cloud Code sessions. You can create custom agents, track usage, and much more. Think of OP Code as a command center for Cloud Code while fixing all the issues that it's facing currently. You can bridge the gap between the command line tool and a visual experience that makes AI-assisted development more intuitive and productive. Now, at the start, I did mention that OP Code does help tackle Claude Code's limitations, but it doesn't magically change Claude's model limitations like context length or rate caps, but it wraps them around with better session persistence as well as with custom agents. This is where you can basically develop and tailor different agents for your tasks like debugging, refractoring, and documentation. And when you run these agents, you basically set guardrails that can be reused and it removes the Claude forget setup step. This is something that will help you manage and basically save a lot of time as this lets you design and configure custom agents that can basically offload repetitive tasks for you. And more importantly, it is something that will help you restore continuity without starting from scratch. This effectively stretches its usefulness of limited context by managing multiple threads effectively. But in essence, this toolkit is definitely going to supercharge Claude code and fix many of the issues it's currently facing with many of these different features from MCPs to custom agents to even live tracking and running multiple agents asynchronously. To get started, it is fairly easy. Just make sure you have the prerequisites installed, like Cloud Code. To have Cloud Code installed, you're going to need to make sure you have Node.js 18 and above. And then to install Cloud Code, it's really simple. Just install it using the npm install command within your command prompt. Once you have Cloud Code installed, just make sure you have the system requirements, like the operating system, the RAM, as well as the storage. And then just make sure you have the required tools, like Rust, Bun, or Git. These are pretty much already going to be installed on your computer if you have been using different AI tools. But once that is done, we can then get started by installing this onto our computer. So simply go ahead and open up your command prompt. Once you have it opened up, go ahead and copy this git clone command to clone the repository onto your computer and then paste it into your command prompt. Once it finishes cloning, you can head into the OP code directory by pasting in the CD command and then you can click enter. Then you're going to need to install the front end dependencies using bun. So paste this also within the command prompt. Once this is finished installing, you can build the application using the bun run tari dev command. So just simply have this copied and then we can paste it into the command prompt. But essentially, after you build the application, you will finish downloading and you will get this new OP code application that opens up on your desktop. This is where you can first start off by selecting a project that you want to start working with. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So I've gone ahead and opened up a spreadsheet chat app that I had actually developed previously with Cloud Code. And now I can click on new session. This is where I can work with Cloud Code with this new GUI. And essentially, this is a really simple GUI that you can easily get started with, where you can manage multiple sessions simultaneously. But you also have the ability to manage different agents, like I had mentioned, which we'll get to in a second. You have the usage dashboard, which gets you a good understanding of your expenses, how much tokens are being outputted, and it gives you a breakdown of everything within this tab over here. And you can actually categorize it with the last 30 days, how much you've spent for that particular project, which is pretty cool. But now if we go back into the session, 
This is where we can talk to Cloud Code, the new specialized agents that the toolkit provides to help us build almost anything. You can select whatever model you want to use with this button over here, where you can choose Cloud for Opus or Cloud for Sonnet. If you click on this, you can choose different modes. So you can set it on auto, which lets Cloud decide which mode to use, but you can set it on basic thinking, deeper analysis, extensive reasoning, and then maximum uh, computation. I recommend just leaving it on auto, but if you want to use it for different use cases, you can definitely set it to whatever mode that you would like. Now I've gone ahead and created a couple of different agents, like a debug agent, which would help me in terms of debugging different errors that I may be facing with the code base. And you can basically configure it by giving it a system prompt, and then you can change the configurations whenever you'd like, and then run it within a specialized directory. Now, what I can do is even within the main session tab, I can add that agent and then I can deploy it within any file. Also within the settings tab, you have the ability to configure certain things like the permissions, the environment. You can actually set all of these things within this settings tab and you can even configure Also something note that within the settings tab, you have the ability to change certain configurations like the permission, the environments, advanced settings, like the raw setting output. You can also configure other things like hooks, commands, storage, as well as proxies. But let me just showcase a rough example of OP code in action. This is where it was actually helping me implement the specific features using the spec driven development lifecycle. And it's actually creating the to-do list like it usually does with cloud code but it is then thoroughly executing all of these different sessions. And what's nice is that you get a diff edit visualized within this session. So you can actually see the changes. And if you like, you can actually configure it directly within the OP code app, which is really nice because this way you can easily see and edit certain things directly within the sessions. And at the end, it had actually implemented this new build for me where I can easily run and use the spec driven mode wherever I need, whenever I'm building anything. And what's nice is that you can actually manage different checkpoints directly within OP code. So it's really nice. And I believe this is probably one of the best GUIs that are available alongside with the toolkit that enhances cloud code. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, I really prefer using this toolkit over the previous toolkits that we have showcased alongside Cloud Code. This is something that definitely makes Cloud Code a lot better and smarter, as well as help solve many of the issues that it's actually facing currently. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed what OB Code offers. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.